Hi guys, abracadabra. Oh, the light's not brilliant. Let me try and move the They just left this off the cuff filming. That looks better. Number 10, abracadabra. And I've forgotten where, what happened, where we were. Hands, into that new house, moved. Gretel, very happy. She stitched him up. She's bought the other house with his money. He doesn't know. She's renting that out. Okay, it's still invested in a house. I hear you say. Doesn't really matter which one, but she's bought two. But the sister's involved. The bank's involved. The mortgages. What's going on? Greewok and Gretel. Two or three houses. Two mortgages. Hands money. I mean, he's over the moon. Apart from spending a few million baht, he's a month in maybe to his new life in Thailand. Health insurance now sorted, Pacific Cross. Chatted to me, chatted to Jamie, um, and hooked it up. He's got his car, probably her name. She says she's gonna sort him out with registration House registration, which will get him a Tabian band, Thai ID card, lots of benefits. He's got a swimming pool use of now, a gym, which he's starting to use, and he's loving it. Everything is dropping into place. It's perfect, but he still has this problem with aerobics. Now, why didn't we know Greewok had a ladyboy partner? That was sort of kept quiet. He hasn't twigged as a ladyboy. He still hasn't twigged. Um, they have a, a couple of days where they row a little bit about um, silly things. Whether it's just her being grumpy or him Food wise he's okay, everything's okay, everything's fine. But it's just they just end up having a few little rows. And Gressel says to Hans, look Hans, we've been with each other twenty four hours a day for a month. We need a bit of a break. Um Me and my sister we've got cousins etc up north and my sister wants to go have a long weekend break and asked if I wanted to go do you mind you'll be on your own looking after yourself and Hans says no I don't mind I think that'll be good I've got a swimming pool I've got the gym I've got food I've got everything I need TV I'm happy and my hand of course so it's arranged. They're gonna. She's gonna go for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. She says, "Can I use the car?" Yeah, no problem. Go for it, woman. So things back on. Everything okay? Has she got cousins up north? What's she up to? Huh. The week goes by. Friday comes. Friday morning kiss him on the cheek, got her bags, got in the car, off to get the sister, off they go. And they head up, up to, I don't know, somewhere near Chiang Rai, supposedly. Gone. And he's all on his own. Friday's okay, he's like, swimming pool, gym, food, TV, he's happy. In the evening, out of the blue, knock on the door and he thinks that must be one of the neighbours so he goes to the door opens the door and stood right in front of him is and you still haven't told me her name X is at his door first of all how does she know where he lives how does she know is she does she know he's alone her English is really good she comes to the door hello how are you you know Hans, how are you? Is Greewok here? And Hans says, 
no she's gone away for the weekend with Gretel uh, they've gone to and he didn't know it was called Chiang Rai but up, you know somewhere Chiang somewhere north now come on X knew the X is like what's going on here you know what this is what what's going on it's a farang she knows he's she must have heard all the stories from Griwok. She says, may I come in? I have, I, I've walked like four or five kilometers. Very hot, to do with a drink. And Hans is totally oblivious, thick. Yeah, come on in. Come. He still has not twigged. He's had no interaction with ladyboys. Maybe he's never heard of them. But this ex, again, is dressed this time in jeans and a tight shirt, showing off top, comes in. And Hans is quite happy chatting away to her. They go off in the kitchen, get a drink, and and X is sort of nudging him and having a laugh and and starting complimenting him, you know. We'll just guess, because I don't know those details. Wow, you look handsome today, Hans. <laughs> What a trim body you've got. He was fattish. What a trim body you've got. <laughs> and he's reacting to it. And, and he's, from, from what I, uh, <laughs> when I've spoke to, he's like, well, you're really very attractive. How old are you? And uh, she said about 30, you know, half his age. And he's like, wow, wow, wow. Anyway, this ex, knowing that Gretel's away, Gree walks away, gone up country, she came round for one thing only, one thing only. She either knows he doesn't know, she, she knows he doesn't know she's a lady boy, or she thinks he's attracted to her as a lady boy. Little does she know that his aerobics equipment doesn't work anyway from from directly from Hans mouth to me telling me this story X took his hand took him upstairs and had his her evil way and he said actually said first time in his life his tackle started working. He realized that this girl was a guy, girl, guy, guy, girl. And he had the most amazing, we've heard this before, haven't we, on another story. He had aerobics with a ladyboy. That's a turn out for the books, isn't it? Hands got took by the hand and was handy in aerobics for the first time. But he's just cheated on his girlfriend with his girlfriend's sister's girlfriend boyfriend. And his tackle worked. Who would have known? And why did his tackle work? Uh, I don't know. I never went into those details asking him that nitty gritty. Why does it start working now? What was it that turned the switch on? Uh, Friday night. X stayed. Saturday morning. X and him went swimming. Saturday afternoon. They were swimming. Saturday afternoon they were in the bedroom. Saturday evening they were in the bedroom. Saturday night they were in the bedroom. Sunday morning they were in the bedroom. Sunday morning Gretel walked through the door. Come home early. Gree walks downstairs. Gretel screams. Gree walk apparently came running up the stairs, came through the door, and screamed. X screamed. Hans, God knows what he did, I have no idea. 
Can you picture it? Hands. No good aerobics. Doesn't work. There. With. Morning glory. <laughs> Lady boy. Probably still morning glory as well. <laughs> Gretel. Grewok. Stood there screaming. I just, every time I think of it and picture it, I just laugh. I mean, it's wrong. He cheated on his girlfriend and he cheated on his girlfriend's sister's girlfriend, boyfriend. It's all wrong. But the fact, his tackle worked. Um, now, apparently, and everyone stopped screaming for a moment he got dressed X got dressed Gretel and Grewok told X to leave Grewok was angry and went outside and had a row with X Grewok drove off in her battered old car leaving X to walk Gretel stopped being angry pretty quick and said what happened and wanted every single detail remember she was into that other tomboy they sat and talked for hours and Gretel's well your bits do work but obviously you're attracted to the male gender or lady boys um so that's very good but you cheated on me so I want you to pack your stuff your bags and leave he said pardon me I want you to leave he said a third of this house is mine a million baht all the furniture is mine the car is mine. It got really. You leave. And she said, No. The furniture is mine. You gave me the cash as a present. I bought it. The car's mine. You gave me the cash to buy it. I bought it. It's in my name. The money for the house. It's a rubbish bit of paper. You gave me cash for the house gave me cash I used it for the house at which point she said I haven't even invested your million baht in this house I put it elsewhere you gave it me as a present cash remember in the bank the car cash the furniture some of it used on your card but you gave it me as a present pack your bag and get out and if you don't I'm going to get someone to remove you Do. Has he just been stitched up ro royally or has he, because he's cheated, just lost everything? Could he go to a lawyer, fight it all? Probably. Huh. What's he do? He says, I'll go sleep downstairs. I'm not leaving. She says, if you don't, I will ring the police. This house is mine. Everything's in my name. They will remove remove you, and you'll probably lose your visa if you don't be careful. He got onto the phone to a friend. Friend said, "It's best that you come out with your personal belongings and don't make a big scene. Go and see a lawyer first thing in the morning. Go and book into a hotel." He listens, luckily, to his friend. He says, to him, okay, I'm going to a hotel. I'm going to a lawyer in the morning. We'll talk tomorrow. He says, fine, get out. At this point, his friend 
said to him, You've got your laptop? Yes. Has she got passwords and access to all your banks? Yes. Get to your hotel quick. Change all your passwords. Immediately. Again, he listened to his friend. Straight, end of the road, round the corner, there's a cheap hotel, 600 baht a night. He went straight there, got a room. Went in, got uh, internet from the hotel. Not good over a Wi-Fi, but he had much, didn't have much choice. Got into his laptop and he knew how to, he just changed all his passwords, banks, everything. He'd taken all his cards with him, he'd taken the passport, he'd taken all his possessions, clothes. What's he do then? Picks up the phone, rings X. She's kicked me out. I'm in a hotel. What's X do? I'll come round. What do they do? Sleep together all night. He's just been kicked out. What's he do? Jumps in bed with his lady boy. Oh, we'll leave it there. Catch you on the next one. Did you see that one coming? I bet you didn't.